cheetahs are small and slender compared to other big cats. But they're extremely fast. As a matter of fact, they're the fastest land mammals on the planet. Have you ever seen a cheetah coalition in action? If you want to see cheetahs in action, you're at the right place. So let's get started. <coughs> cheetah versus Warthog. These two cheetah brothers chase a warthog and between the two, they eventually make the kill. But the brothers are extremely exhausted after the kill and in danger of overheating. Did you ever think a warthog could run that fast? After taking a warthog down, two cheetahs hold on tight and suffocate the animal. These cheetahs are hunting some very small piglets and sharing their meal. You can tell they're having a great time with each bite, but I'm not sure it will fill their tummies for very long. Cheetah vs Nyala Ball Even if these three grown cheetahs band together, it won't be easy to bring down a Nyala Ball. When necessary, the bull will hide behind a tree and charge the cats with its horns. The cheetahs attempt to knock the bull off balance, but the bull stands firm and the felines will have to look elsewhere for food. In this video, a cheetah stalks a Nyala bull for a few seconds before taking off to go for the kill. But the Nyala sees the cheetah and takes off. Will the fast cat catch up? I guess he does because he can be seen standing next to the dead Nyala at the end of the video. After killing a Nyala bull, mom takes a well-deserved break while her two cubbies feast on the carcass of the dead animal. It seems like mom has already taken a chunk out of its prey because its behind has been ripped out and I doubt it was the cubs doing it. This cheetah is the mother of five young cubs in the Pindar Game Reserve in South Africa and she is a very accomplished hunter. Even with a minor injury to her front legs, she easily brought down this female Nyala. Cheetah vs Rabbit The young cheetahs are having the most trouble capturing this rabbit. The rabbit circles around them until the cheetahs realize what's going on. Because of their inexperience, they do not immediately make the kill, and the unfortunate rabbit desperately tries to free itself. It's only a matter of time before the rabbit is eaten by cheetahs. This cheetah is chasing a rabbit. And even though the rabbit is tricky and quick, it doesn't take long for the cheetah to kill it. The cheetah in this video is a fantastic mom. She caught a scrub hare but did not kill it and is now teaching her little bouncy cub how to hunt. It's difficult to watch as the poor scrub hare is being played with and fighting for its life, but it's a critical life lesson for the four-month-old cub. Another rabbit dies after being hunted down by a cheetah. Except for their long legs, which allow them to run quickly, rabbits have no defense mechanism to protect themselves and cannot outrun a cheetah. In this video, you can see an Asiatic cheetah hunting and killing a rabbit. This cheetah looks slightly bigger than the African cheetah in my opinion. This cheetah is chasing another rabbit. I honestly had no idea cheetahs hunted rabbits until I began watching these videos, but I guess they can sustain the cats until they find something bigger. And for smaller cubs, they are plentiful. Cheetah Hunts Jackal In this video, four cheetah brothers corner, harass, and nearly kill a black-backed jackal in the Dino Ken Game Reserve. What's surprising is that the cheetahs are the fastest animals on land, but the jackal was able to get away from all four of them. This young cheetah pursues a jackal, and the jackal, despite fleeing, is unconcerned about the youngster. Jackals are used to this, so there isn't much that impresses them. But the cheetah cub is to die for. What a cutie pie. Cheetah attack on Impala This cheetah was not trying to help this cute Impala to walk across the street in our thumbnail. It was actually trying to prevent it from crossing the street so it could eat it. A cheetah attacks an Impala at full speed, but once it has it, things aren't so simple. The Impala fights fiercely, and the cheetah will have to do better if he wants to win this one. A small jackal sees if he can jump in, but realizes the timing is not right. He figures he better make the big cat make the kill before doing anything. This is our thumbnail video, and the cheetah is holding on to the Impala on the road with cars approaching. The Impala is trying hard to escape, but the cat keeps patting it down with its two front paws while onlookers look at the action. The cheetah finally decides it's had enough of the fun and games and goes for the Impala's throat as it drags it back into the forest to finish it off. After the cheetah in this video makes its kill, onlookers initially kept their distance as to not disturb the animal while feeding. However, the cat had something else in mind, as there were no trees within the next mile or so, and the sun was already burning down. She dragged the gazelle to the only shady area near her, under the footboard of the onlooker's land cruiser. This cheetah mother teaches her cubs how to hunt, and even assists them in keeping the impala from escaping. However, when she lets go, 
The Impala is not dead and gets back up and proves too powerful for the cubs to hold on to. It looks like watching mom hunters paid off for these young cheaters when they managed to take down an Impala without losing it. The Impala struggles and fights back, but when you have four cheaters biting to kill you, even if they're young and inexperienced, it's not easy. With her offspring, this cheetah hunts a juvenile Impala, as the three cheetahs take the animal down to finish it off. I'm not sure the two youngsters would have been capable of doing this without the help of their mom. Cheetah attack on baby gazelle. Like most cats do when they capture a young animal, this cheetah plays around with a tiny gazelle before delivering the final blow and carrying the dead animal back to home base. These cubs are perhaps two months old and still they're ready for the challenge ahead of them, killing a baby gazelle. Normally they start learning this skill anywhere between five and eight months, but for these guys, I guess Christmas arrived earlier than expected. Watch this fierce mama warthog and her full-grown daughter protect her three little piglets from two big, bad, nearly full-grown cheetah cubs. After the fiasco, the cheetahs managed to catch and play with the Thompsons before killing and eating it. The entire time, their mother was watching from a discreet distance to make sure there wasn't a problem, as they failed with the warthogs and succeeded with the gazelle. In this video, onlookers watched as a female cheetah displayed her awe-inspiring speed while chasing down a Thompson's gazelle for dinner. Cheetahs are so efficient when they're hunting on the run, they rarely miss. This cheetah mother appears to be pursuing a gazelle, and the pursuit appears to be long and exhausting. The skilled gazelle will sidestep, dodge and weave among the trees to throw the cheetah off balance, even though it's a young gazelle. Finally, the cheetah snatches the exhausted gazelle and makes the kill. Cheetah vs. Wildebeest The cheetahs in this video are known as the Musketeer Cheetah Coalition, and they prove once again that they are the ultimate predators of the plains as they hunt and kill a wildebeest without a problem. The carving season in the Serengeti happens mostly between February and March every year, but there are always the early babies that are born in December and January, and this time there are very few baby wildebeests, which makes them an easy target for predators, like this cheetah mom. She spotted this baby wildebeest from 700 yards out and still managed to hunt it down and bring the kill to her three cubs. Cheetah attack on zebra. This coalition of five cheetahs is a unique feature of the Maasai Mara. Together they make an extremely powerful hunting machine. For five hours, onlookers watched the famous five wandering across the savannah, resting in the shade and watching the approaching herd of zebras with great interest. Then, they burst into life as a female zebra and her foal got close. The cheetahs fanned out and disrupted the herd, after which they made their move. The first chase ended in failure, probably because only a single cheetah gave chase. The second involved three cheetahs and the foal was killed. In this video, three male cheetahs are eating a plain zebra they've just killed. The cheetahs are clearly tired after their hunt, but that doesn't stop them from gorging on the carcass. A couple of black-backed jackals try to get a bite of the meal, but the cheetahs chase them off. All these cheetahs are males. These are one-of-a-kind brothers. They go after prey that few other cheetahs would dare go for. To be successful, they must first select a victim and then work together to defeat it. It's dangerous work because an adult zebra can be fatal, and even though they're targeting the young foal in this video, the mother is right next to it, and she can kill a cheetah with one kick to the head. So the felines must be extra careful because they don't have the luxury of being as big and robust as lions. The Tanobora cheetahs of Masai Mara have proven to be actual killing machines with their speed and strength. Together they can take down zebras, which is usually an impossibility when hunting on their own. Put this one in the books. Cheetah fighting with cheetah. Cheetahs are like most other species, so when it's time to impress the ladies, they too get into scuffles. These two males are fighting over a female, and it looks like one of them has won when the other remains laying on the ground. In this video, a female cheetah fights off the advances of three males trying to mate with her. I guess female animals must withstand the same problems women face. They get hit on by males, even when they're not interested. In this video, a cheetah is attacked by a lioness and is able to counter the lioness, keeping the lioness's attention away from her cubs which she manages to do before the Mara Rangers intervene and scare the lioness away. Cheetah attack on Kudu Two cheetahs have just hunted a Kudu and are putting the finishing touches on their meal, but the Kudu is not giving the cats an easy time, as it struggles to escape. Kudus are big and strong, so they can be a handful for smaller cats like cheetahs. This cheetah knows how to hunt and kill a Kudu. 
because kudus are large animals, the cheetah must perform flawlessly for the hunt to be successful. And as you can see, this hunt is no picnic for the cat, as the kudu flips it over a few times. After killing the kudu, the cheetah becomes tired and rests. This female cheetah has just finished hunting a large kudu. The victim kicks its legs and struggles to free itself, almost knocking the cheetah out of the way, but the cat holds on and completes the task at hand. Cheetah catches ostrich. Even though the cheetah is better equipped to hunt than an ostrich, because ostriches are much larger than cheetahs, killing one is a difficult task for a cheetah. An ostrich's feet are enormous, and a single smack to the head would instantly kill a cheetah. The ostrich is also a fast animal, reaching speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour, so even though the cheetah is the fastest land mammal, it would need to use all its speed to catch an ostrich. Let's see how this plays out. The cheetah stands there watching and slowly approaches the ostrich, which has no idea what is going on. When the ostrich realizes she is being pursued, she quickens her pace and starts galloping. There are two ostriches, one which runs past the other. She appears to be yelling at the other to step back. The cheetah decides to pursue the second ostrich instead because it is slower. The chase is joined by a second cheetah and the two of them attack the ostrich from behind. The two cheetahs appear to be peering beneath a lady's skirt due to the ostrich's massive feathers and buttocks. The ostrich fights back and continues to run, but a third cheetah arrives, assisting in bringing the ostrich down and choking it to death, providing them with a tasty meal. Even though this ostrich is kicking its legs out, it won't stop the cheetah in the video from killing it. These are actually the last few seconds of the hunt when the ostrich is taking its last breaths. Cheetah hunts Topai it's not like topais are easy to take down for cheetahs, even if the fast cats outnumber the topai 3 to 1. They eventually get the job done, but it's not without a lot of hard work and tenacity. What was mind-boggling was how the cheetah chasing the topai blanked the animal and slowed it down before stopping it completely. Even though the cheetah isn't alone on this hunt, he's left to himself to make the kill. I wonder why most cats behave this way during hunts, even lions will watch one lion do all the work, but once the kill is made, they all want to feast on it. The Tanobara cheetahs roam their territory, and when they spot a topai taking a nap, the hunt is on. The cats chase the animal until he's taken down. The cheetahs can be seen eating their meal at the end of the video. A few cheetahs are seen charging into a herd of topais, and as the herd disperses with a bunch of topais running left, right, and center, one of the animals isn't so lucky as the cheetahs take it down and kill it. This sighting happened in the Masai Mara. The famous five musketeers took down a topai mother, which had just given birth. The topai saw the cheetahs and took off, but then slowed down, probably to distract the cheetahs from her calf. But it was just slow enough for the cheetahs to accelerate and catch her with relative ease. Five cheetahs tried to take down a strong and sturdy topai, but the topai is resisting big time. One of the cats tackles the legs while the other focuses on the neck. This is not an easy prey to take down for cheetahs when they are not moving. One of the cheetahs is dangerously positioned in between the topai's horns, and if he's not careful, he could be badly injured. A third cheetah joins the fight, but the topai is still up. It takes the cheetahs an eternity to take their prey down, but they finally get it done. Cheetahs are incredible creatures. They're swift and graceful, and I enjoy watching them run. My personal favorite was the cheetah catching up with the fast topai and flanking it before slowing it down. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.